All right, so these are going to be the best Ethernet settings to use in 2025 for gaming. But before we get started, we're going to quickly create a restore point. So we'll click on start and then just search for restore point. You'll see create a restore point. Just click on this. Inside of here, you'll see a list of available drives. In this list, just click on the one that is marked as system and then click on configure. Inside of here, first click on turn on system protection. For the disk space usage, just set this as any value between 1 and 3%. Once you do that, just click on apply and OK. Back in this window, click on create. And now you just need to set a name for your restore point and then click on create. This should take less than a minute. Once this is done, you will see a message on your screen now just click on close and then ok and now we can apply the best ethernet settings for that you need to open up control panel click on network and internet network and sharing center and then in this list of options on the left click on change adapter settings here you will see all the network adapters on your pc here just simply double click on your ethernet adapter inside of this window click on configure and now open up the advanced tab and here you'll see all of these settings that you can change on your ethernet adapter do keep in mind that these settings may be different for you as it depends on the network adapter manufacturer. In that case, you can simply just change these settings that match yours and see how that works. So for the advanced energy efficient ethernet, we're gonna disable that. Disable ARP offload, disable auto disable gigabit, energy efficient ethernet, low control, gigabit light, green ethernet, interrupt moderation, IPv4 checksum offload, jumbo frame. Both the large and offload should also be disabled. For the maximum number of RSS queues, you need to set this to the maximum that you have available so for me it's four queues for network address we're going to leave this at the default value and then we're going to disable ns offload power saving mode you're going to leave priority and vlan as the default value for the receive buffers make sure to set this as the maximum value that you have available to find that out you need to simply hold this tiny up arrow and that will take you all the way up to the highest value possible disable receive side scale and for the speed and duplex you need to set this as the maximum value that you have so here i I have 100 megabits and make sure to set it as full duplex so sometimes if you change this setting your internet may stop working in that case you just need to come back and set this to auto negotiation and your internet will start working again next we need to disable both the tcp checksum offloads and also disable the udp checksum offloads for the transmit buffers you have to set this to the maximum possible value as well and for the vlan id just leave this on its default value and then just disable all the wake on settings lastly you need to make sure that shutdown link speed is set to not speed down once this is done just click on ok and then just restart your computer once you restart your ethernet performance will be much better so that is going to be pretty much it for this video if it helped you out make sure to drop a like and let me know in the comments below if this helped improve your ethernet if you'd like me to optimize your pc or internet for gaming you can check out the link in the description and if you'd like to support me on epic games or inside of the Fortnite item shop, you can use the code 72 Creed. I would really appreciate that. That is all for today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.